Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com. I'm here with Dave Helgeson, who's the show promoter for the Seattle RV Show and an avid RVer. And Dave, today we're going to talk about the affordability of RVing. You know, how much does it cost to do this, really? It's, it can be very, it can be anything you want it to be for starters. But if for families starting out, uh, you can buy an entry level RV uh, with payments between $100 and $150 a month. If you already own the SUV or a truck, you can tow it. You don't need to go out and spend any money on a tow vehicle. So basically for you know, $100 and $150 a month, uh, you can have an RV sitting in your driveway. And if you use that just a couple weekends a month, you can see the payback real quick. You know, if you take your family to a Mariners game, family of four, so you're going to spend $100 easily right. uh, for three hours of fun where you can take that same, you know, $100 stretch out over a month, go out a couple weekends and have a couple weekends of fun for the same amount of investment. Yeah, I know, um, you know, people wonder about how much it costs to camp. And, you know, you can spend, you can go to a resort down on the coast of, around LA and spend $150 yes, a night, can. but that would be the upper That's end. The or you can camp for free. Camp for Seniors, free. Uh, senior citizens over 62 can buy a $10 pass for the rest of their life yep. at half price at national parks. Um, there's, there's books about free campgrounds, mm -hmm. literally, what, thousands of places you can stay for free. Exactly. There's the government lands of Southern, mm -hmm. Cal uh, Southern California, Arizona, and elsewhere you stay for free. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and then many, many public campgrounds, $10, $20 a yeah. day, and, you know, really every price point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some RVers that, that you know, they, they look at their budget and they say, well, you know, we don't have quite enough. Well, there's a, a, a big movement toward work camping, which yes. is working along the road, picking up part-time jobs. There's a, an organization called Work Camper News. That's mm -hmm. all they do is match up employers mm -hmm. with RVers, and so they can you know, Amazon hires a bunch of people at Christmas time, work for a few yes. weeks, make enough money, and then go travel. So yeah. really, it is it is very yeah. affordable. Well, another thing if, along that lines, too, is uh, if you're doing volunteer work for a charitable mm -hmm. organization, a 501c3, um, typically they'll supply you a camp spot. You can also write off your fuel uh, to get there and from. One I participate in is called Passport and Times with the Forest Service and BLM. Mm -hmm. You go in and work on either restoring historical structures or maybe do an archaeological dig. Uh, they'll typically comp you a camp space, and like I said, you can take a tax deduction as well. So it can be very, very reasonable. And along your line, those government parks uh, in Washington State, we have the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, for your Discover Pass, you buy for uh, state parks here, but it's also good on DNR lands. And they operate 140 different campgrounds throughout the state, um, and they're yep. free with your pass. Wow. A lot of people don't know that. I so didn't know that. There's a lot of options there. Wow. And on our state parks, uh, if you're a senior, you can buy, I think it's $75 for a, a senior off-season pass, where you can camp for free weekdays at a lot of parks or with hookups for $10. Wow. So yeah. there's, there's, there's definitely ways to make it very affordable. And I think the, the other thing that's not mentioned too often is that you can uh, treat an RV as, uh, right off the mortgage uh, as you would a second home. Yes. Is that right? Yes, yeah. if it has sleeping bathroom facilities and cooking facilities on it, and you don't already own a second home, you can treat it as a second home. So anybody that was interested in pursuing that, just talk to their accountant, and their yes. accountant will be yep. totally up to speed yep. on that. Yeah. Stuff. So really, um, uh, RVing is as affordable as you want it to yeah. be. And another thing we didn't really touch on here in the Pacific Northwest is you don't have to go that far to, you know, we have the yeah. ocean beaches under 150 miles away. We have Puget Sound right at our doorstep. We have the Cascades 50 miles away and Eastern Washington 100 miles away. So, you know, very diverged, different geographical yeah. zones we can travel to without spending a bunch on fuel. Yeah, I think that's, we're really lucky up we're here to have fortunate. that diversity. I mean, you go, I was just back in the Midwest and, you know, yeah, you've got beautiful campgrounds and places to stay, but you just don't have that variety yeah. with the high mountains right, and yeah, flat the ocean flat. And, and everything that we have. Yes. And we're not too far away from the deserts of the Southwest. No, so, no. yeah, we really do have a... We got, we're yeah. very, very blessed here. And, you know, affordability also includes being able to cook your own meals and, and exactly. um, uh, not expensive hotel rooms. And so, yeah. I mean, it really can be yeah. affordable for a family, for uh, full-timers, whatever. Um, so really, somebody just has to investigate yeah. the options. Realistically, you don't have to factor in food because you're going to eat at home anyway. So if right. you're eating the same diet on the road, that's that's a non-issue. Yeah. You're just looking at, at fuel and campground fees. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. anyway, so it is affordable. And you just, uh, the Seattle RV show, Dave's show, uh, 
You cover that in topics, uh, seminar yep. topics? Yeah, I do, I, do a fr I do one seminar called Free Camping in Washington. We'll touch on DNR parks and boondocking options and other free uh, low-cost options in Washington State. So that kind of thing and mm -hmm. just going to a show, of course, oh, lots of experts across there the board. that experts will, will on, advise you on that. We stuff. have campgrounds there, state parks is there, yeah. um, so you can get the whole spectrum. It's really everything RVing. All right, well, thank you, Dave. Thank you for having me. Okay.